This is the monkeys add-on created by Hogskull. Priced at 660 Minecraft coins, that's £3.29. This add-on is $4. The community gave this a 4.5 star out of 5, with 56 ratings so far, 78% have been a five star. Not only does this add-on introduce monkeys, they can cook for you, defend for you. There's also traps and new recipes available. The add-on file size is two megabytes. I always appreciate a company trying something a little bit different. After setting up and testing today's add-on, I was really impressed. Now this is going to work in a new or pre-existing world and once you have this activated, you'll be given the monkeys add-on wiki. Welcome to the mischievous world of monkeys. This add-on brings cheeky monkeys, delicious bananas, and exciting new gameplay mechanics to your Minecraft adventures. Tame monkeys with feed and watch them transform into loyal companions with unique professions. Note, if you need another monkeys add-on wiki, Craft it with one book and one banana together in the crafting table. There are a lot of different monkeys on offer, which I'm going to show you in today's video. Let's start off with the important information. Mischievous behavior. Curious and always on the lookout for food. Wild monkeys are notorious for their thievery. They can swipe items right out of your hands or raid your chests for hidden treasures. But don't worry, their antics are all part of their charm. Where do you find them? You can find these lively monkeys in various biomes. Jumping through the jungles, playing in snowy areas, exploring old growth tigers, and roaming the warm savannas. Each environment offers unique encounters with these delightful creatures. But be warned, they can be territorial and defensive. It says some monkeys can get defensive about their territory, so be cautious when approaching them to avoid a surprise attack. There are also diseased monkeys. I'm going to point out when we see one of them, but it does say they attack on sight and can poison their targets. I will show you in survival, but I want to start off with creative. There's a reason why I have so many swords, and that is because they will steal your tools, your weapons, and a whole bunch more. It also mentions something about them going in your chests. So I'm curious if they'll steal any of this as well. So let's go ahead and summon a whole bunch of these. There are different variations and a lot of different ones available. Different colors. Some will be aggressive. There is a sick monkey. That monkey right there is, is ill. If I go to forward slash game mode S... Some of these will be territorial. No, you just stole it. You just stole it from me. There, there is the sick monkey. I'm going to kill him real quick because he's sick. You'll get inflicted with poison. They will stick together. They'll jump around. They'll play around. They'll mess around. Sometimes they'll steal your crops. It's just jumped all the way up there. So if you do go ahead and kill some of these, they can drop, which I believe is raw monkey meat. But this oh he stole the sword he stole it from me there we go we managed to kill one it will drop raw monkey which can be cooked now on occasions they will also drop bananas so far i haven't had any of the bananas or the banana bread or anything stolen just yet but this is now cooked we can go ahead and consume it there we go. We managed to kill one and it dropped a banana. Before I teach you about the monkey traps and the monkey feeds, I want to teach you about bananas because it says bananas are a delightful new crop in your Minecraft world, naturally growing under jungle tree leaves in jungle biomes. Watch as they transform from green to yellow green and finally to a fully ripened yellow. Feeling impatient? A little bone meal will speed things up. However, note, for bananas to spawn naturally, make sure the mob spawning rule is enabled. And then obviously it explains how to harvest and what else is available. So these ones right here are ripe. You're able to break these. You can go ahead and place them down. If you want to speed up the growth, use bone meal. So I really like the fact that you're able to do this because, again, a lot of the add-ons, it's like a, a waiting game. This has definitely been an add-on that's gone under the radar. 
and definitely deserves a lot more credit. There's a lot of really cool details that I think people will enjoy with this. So yeah, if you wanted to create yourself a banana farm, simply... Oh, there you go. That's a much bigger one. There you go. You're able to do this. There's a couple of different growth stages. Let's say you're feeling peckish. Go ahead and eat a banana. In doing so, you'll be given the banana peel. Now, if this is on the floor and you go ahead and walk on this or your friend does, it kind of gives you a little bit of a boost. It's just a mild prank. I want to start off with the traps before I show you the monkey feed and how to tame them. To make yourself a trap, you're going to need three oak planks and two iron ingots. We're going to make a couple of these because if some of the aggressive monkeys are attacking you, you are able to, well, let's just say kill them. Let's make a bunch of these. So go ahead and place them down on the ground. You're then going to have to put a banana inside. Let's harvest a couple of these. We're only going to need like 10 of these. I also noticed that it's also going to trap other animals as well. What about players? Yes, this will near enough nearly kill you. So be careful with this. But you can place these inside of here. And you just got to get yourself some monkeys. So let's go ahead and place down one, two, three, four, five. They really don't stand any chance. They're far too curious. Oh, he went inside my chest. He actually went inside my chest. That's the first time. What did you steal? He, st he stole some monkey feed. That's the first time I've actually seen that. He also went ahead and messed around with my spawn eggs. Well, that's the first time I've seen that happen. If you would like to have a monkey companion, here is the recipe for the monkey feed. You are going to need coca beans, sugar, pumpkin seeds, and a banana. If you open up the crafting table, you'll be able to make this with no problem. However, you might need to feed them more than one monkey feed. Monkeys can be greedy sometimes. So let's go ahead and place down a monkey. Let's see if we can tame you. They will then be given a profession. If I was to tap on this monkey, it explains what we're able to do. Now, it looks like it is a random occurrence. There is so many different professions available. It just says, once tamed with monkey feed, monkeys will automatically take on a profession, each with its own unique set of skills to help you on your adventure. Some professions are rarer than others, so taming monkeys is always an exciting surprise. So we ha have the chef, miner, medic, farmer, and warrior. On this occasion, I think we managed to get ourselves a farmer one. So if we was to tap on him, go to tend to fields. He's just going to start randomly like harvesting things for you. Oh, oh, he actually creates a farm for you. I was expecting him to actually go and start harvesting my stuff. Alongside being able to tend to farms, you're also able to have these follow you. Or if you want them to take a rest, you can make them sit. But I am curious if I was to make him attend to my farms. Okay, so they can still attend to your farms as well. I'm going to leave him to do what he needs to do. In the meantime, we're going to try and tame another one. We can have them prepare dishes. So in order for it to prepare a dish, I think you might need to give it specific ingredients. Yes, banana, wheat, sugars, etc. I now have the correct ingredients. Let's go ahead and ask him to do some cooking for us. <laughs> That's actually amazing. I wish the animation of that was actually so much longer. But if we tap on him again, the dishes that you can make is you can make cheeseburgers, ender stew, fiery hot pots, glowberry tarts, harvest bread, and starlight soup. I believe some of these might offer special abilities. Let's try the ender stew. Get him to craft this. Dude, that's so awesome. That is absolutely amazing. It's just not long enough. I would happily sit there, watch him do the cool animations over and over again. Ender stew. Oh, oh, this actually lets you teleport. I think in the direction you're looking too, right? No, not on that occasion. So yeah, I have a bunch of the recipes, which we will go through very shortly. We ended up with the miner monkey. Let's get them to start mining, toggle headlamp or follow. So if we were to toggle the headlamp and we were to start doing some mining inside of here, I believe it's kind of like a dynamic light, but on the monkey, let's go ahead and toggle this off. And then let's have him start mining. So he will go ahead 
and start mining for you. But I believe he will also collect the ores if you drop them. Like I mentioned, he's going to mine the ores for you as well. And he will pick them up. I imagine after your mining expedition, he will go ahead and give them to you. Here's hoping. We have ourselves a medic. I want to go ahead and take some damage here because the medic can actually cure you from being injured. So if we were to tap on the medic real quick and do heal me, he should heal me. There you go. Throwing potions at me. You better leave them alone. So we have heal me, purify, regenerate, follow, and sit. So if you are sick by something like a husk, you're able to get rid of the negative effects. This one can be really useful. Finally managed to get myself a warrior one. So if we were to hit them. Hold on. Let's get him to melee attack. Go on. There you go. He will melee attack. I will say that the farmer one. And the minor ones, they seem to be the most common. But I literally have myself an army of monkeys right now. I can even give the warrior one a ranged attack. So let's do this one more time. Hit them. Go on. Try with the arrows, please. This, there you go. He's, he's kind of got a bow and just going to fire it at them. That's so cool. That's so awesome. This guy is just off on his own mining expedition. But one thing I will say, it's not overpowered. And I kind of like the way he's actually tunneling. We have basic banana bread. I don't think this offers any ability. Yes, it does. Oh, this one gives you health boost. Okay, we end up with cheeseburger. We have fiery hot pots. You can end up with so many insane effects here. That's glowberry. Then we have harvest bread. And we even have starlight soup. So some of these can be quite powerful. But instead of having to carry potions with you, I kind of like the idea of the night vision and fire resistance. This is definitely one of those fun and quirky add-ons. And I think the creators did a really good job. I would love to see more monkeys introduced or even the possibility of apes. It gets a thumbs up from me. They did a good job.